It was after midnight in Islamabad when members of parliament voted on the motion of no confidence. After a nearly 14-hour standoff between Imran Khan's ruling party and the opposition. 174 members have recorded their votes in favour of the resolution. Consequently, the resolution for vote of no confidence against Mr. Imran Khan, the Prime Minister of Islamic Republic of Pakistan, has been passed by a majority of the total membership of the National Assembly. Khan is the first Prime Minister in Pakistan to be ousted by a no-confidence vote. Opposition leader Shibaz Sharif, who's likely to succeed him, said Pakistan had been freed from a crisis. A new dawn has started, a new day is coming. Allah has answered the prayers of millions of Pakistani mothers, sisters, daughters, elders and youth. Khan says he won't accept an opposition government and blames the U.S. for leading a conspiracy to remove him. He's called on his supporters to hold nationwide rallies. Imran Khan has been removed through a foreign conspiracy. God willing, we will fight back to make him prime minister again. We don't want these thieves. Khan's removal is the culmination of months of political turmoil and a week-long constitutional crisis. The opposition put forward a no-confidence motion to Parliament last Sunday. But the Deputy Speaker blocked the motion, saying it was unconstitutional and involved foreign interference. On Khan's advice, Pakistan's president dissolved Parliament, but the Supreme Court ruled that was illegal. While Imran has lost the battle in the Parliament, he still has a large following in the field, especially among the young and they are fairly committed, so a lot will depend how this group under Imran Khan is going to react or interact with the new government, uh, because overnight the new government will not be able to solve the problems of the economy, the relationship with the military. The US State Department has denied any involvement in Pakistan's internal politics. Parliament will meet on Monday to appoint a new prime minister. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.